Hi and welcome to another GC Mysteries video where this time we are taking a delve into the disappearance of Margaret Haddigan McEnroe. Okay so in this video I am doing the disappearance of Margaret Haddigan McEnroe. Now she's been missing since the 10th of the 10th 2006 from the Warren Township in New Jersey. Now her classification is endangered missing, uh, possibly because of how long she has been missing for. Uh, now when she went missing she was 29 years old and she was 5 foot 2 and weighed about 110 pounds. Um, now of course if she's still alive that will have all changed but um, you know we've got to hope that she is but as always I'll give you uh, distinguishing characteristics and clothing uh, descriptions stuff like that so I'll start with the distinguishing characteristics and that is that she is as you can already see but she is a Caucasian male She's got brown hair and brown eyes. Now, Haddikin McEnroe uh, may use the name Sherwood Haley, as that was his, that was her uh, birth name, and she may hold also have identification on, under that name also. She has numerous tattoos on her back. However, she has a tattoo of a tribal design on her arm and a fire helmet tattooed on her left thigh. Now when she went missing she was wearing a grey sweatshirt with the word army in black lettering on the front, white checkered or play pyjama pants, white socks, white, uh, uh, white Nike trainers, a black military type jacket with the letters BDU written on it, a silver neck chain with military dog tags and a white gold wedding ring with three diamonds on her left ring finger. Now endangered missing apart from how long she has been missing um, could also be down to the fact that she is known to have some medical conditions or was known to have some medical conditions at the time. Now she was suffering from postpartum depression at the time of her disappearance and because of that is in need of medication. Uh, up to her going missing she had threatened to commit suicide um, whether she has and just hasn't been found is unknown hopefully not but we don't actually know that um, and in addition she has bad knees and suffers from migraine headaches uh, so I would think also be on some sort of painkillers for the migraines and the bad knees uh, as well as the uh, the fact that she's on medication for depression um, now she was last seen at approximately 1.30 p.m. on October 10th, 2006 at her residence near the vicinity of Wickwood Way and Round Top Road in Warren Township, New Jersey. Her husband left the residence on an errand when he returned two hours later, his wife was gone and the couple's infant was home alone. Um, 
now she has never been seen or heard from again. Uh, now she may have been carrying additional clothing and identification under her birth name Sherwood Haley in a black duffel bag at the time of her disappearance and her husband stated that about $11,000 in cash disappeared from her home at the time uh, that she did and she may have taken the money with her. She is known to be carrying one credit card but there has been no activity on the bank account for that. Um, nor has there been any activity on any other bank accounts and she had also left behind her vehicle and her uh, cell phone or mobile phone. Now he did not report her missing for two days uh, mostly due to the fact that she had left home for short periods of time in the past um, and so her husband thought it was just another one of them where she would go for a bit and then she'd come back however it turned out that she has not come back now, one of Margaret's army t-shirts was found on Dock Watch Hollow Road about a mile from her home on Thanksgiving Day in 2006, six, sorry, which was approximately six weeks after her disappearance. It was sent to a lab for analysis but the testing did not turn up anything useful. Uh, the shirt was not weathered either, indicating it had not been exposed to the elements of Mother Nature for very long. Now, uh, both Margaret and her husband were firefighters and uh, she is described as a tough, physically strong woman uh, and she would be, she played sports and trained in boxing as a teenager and then enlisted in the army in 2001, um, completing basic training at Fort Jackson in Columbia, South Carolina. She worked as a tank mechanic during her military service and was discharged early in 2004 for medical reasons. Um, now she has three children all in all, two by her husband and one by a previous relationship. Um, now Margaret herself was adopted as a baby but she made contact with her birth mother in 1998 and they enjoyed a close relationship. Now authorities stated that they had little evidence to indicate that uh, Margaret's fate Sorry, what I'm reading doesn't make any sense. But they're basically saying that there is no little evidence to say that uh, to indicate her fate, whether it was good, whether it was bad, um, and that they are not discounting any possibilities. Now both her co-workers and her family members stated she was behaving normally 
prior to her disappearance and to this day Hadikun McEnroe's case remains unsolved. Um, now, as I said, I'd like to think that she's still alive, um, just waiting to be found, I suppose, but also you know she may be using the name Margaret Sherwood Haley um, which as I said earlier was her birth name so she may be using that may have identification under that name um, but of course the tattoos uh, especially the fire helmet tattooed on her left thigh and the tribal design on her arm would give her away but to get in touch with the Warren Township Police Department or to give them any information it is 908-753-1000 um, and hopefully she will be found soon uh, I know that her family her children will want her found um, you know and having not seen her for that long so Hopefully someone out there that watches this video knows something and will get her home safe. Thank you for watching this GC Mysteries video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe and click the notification bell. If you can, support us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash GC Mysteries. See us on Facebook and Twitter, GC Mysteries. And bye-bye for now.